Welcome to a new week, my uh, brother and sister yoga practitioners. Trishula Mudra, your thumb covers the pinky nail, the other three fingers stretch straight up in the air like Shiva's trident. Helps you deal with the three worlds. This world, the world above, the world below. The inner world, the outer world, the transcendent world, whatever kind of triad you want. All right, so this week we're moving on to Pratiloma, Chandra Bedana, and Nadi Shodhana. This is the counterpart to what we did last week, Analoma, Surya Bedana, and Nadi Shodhana. So let's get right to it. It's going to be open nostrils, but for those of you who are the more continuing students, if you want to partially narrow the nostrils, it's always going to streamline the breath as it comes through, which is what we want. So take your stance and first gently close your eyes. Let the back of the neck extend upward toward the skull. Keep those collarbones nice and wide so the shoulders stay nice and wide. The back armpits are slowly lower than the front armpits. So you could say the front armpits are a little higher than the back armpit. You can listen to your ujjayi sound and refine it as you go along so that it moves from the back of the gullet to the palate to the sinus bone right by the sides of your nose. Very delicate. All right, let's go. Exhale your breath. Raise your hand. Lock your right, left nostril. Inhale through your right nostril. Open both and exhale. Lock your right nostril, inhale through your left nostril. Open both and exhale. Relax your hand, take a restorative breath. One and done. Raise the hand, lock left, open right, inhale. Open both, exhale. Lock right nostril, inhale, open left. Open both nostrils, exhale. Third cycle, first round. Block left, open right. Inhale, always longer than exhale in Pratiloma. Open both, exhale. Block right, open left, inhale. Open both, exhale. Relax your hand, restore your breathing. Now, in order to have zeal in practice, Shraddha Bhava, the atmosphere of faith, the ambiance of faith. Why you continue to put in your time if you didn't believe that this had benefits, major benefits to your practice in your life. So that's how you get the tapas, the burning zeal to keep up over time to make you a lifer. And it's hard to break down some of the yoga philosophy when they say things like the yogi remains in absorption, samadhi, through um, nadanda, I love this word, nada nusandana, nada nusandana, absorbed in the inner sound. Most of us don't even know what that is. What is the inner sound? Because they say if you can focus and get into a samadhi state and hear the inner sound, you will have unalloyed bliss. I love that description. Beyond description. And of course, they also connect it to the grace of the guru, that somehow the lineage bestows the energy and some kind of shakti transmission to help you keep going in the ups and downs in the path or the dry part of the path where it doesn't seem to be working or the routine gets you after weeks or months or even years or decades. Keep on going. All right? 
second cycle. Now we're going to move on to Chandra Bedna. Inhale left, exhale right. Assume the position. Exhale your breath. Do your Jalandhara Bandha. Raise the hand. Lock your right. Inhale through the open left. Lock the left. Exhale through the open right. Relax your hand. Take one restorative breath. As the exhale leaves the body, raise the hand. Block your right. Open the left. Inhale. Block the left. Exhale. Open right. Relax the hand. Restore your breath. Raise the hand. Third cycle, second round. Block right. Inhale left. Block left. Exhale right. Relax the hand. Do your restorative breathing. Experience that unceasing rhythmic alteration, alteration of work and rest, expansion and contraction. These two elements are just like abhyasa and vairagya, the wings of the yoga practice. They continually must temper and balance each other. All right, so continuing here in our movement through stillness, stillness in movement. Now we're going to move on to Nadi Shodhana, the alternate astral breath. Inhale right, exhale left, inhale left, exhale right. All right, on your next exhale, raise your hand. Block your left, inhale right. Gradual, smooth, soft, rhythmic. Each breath having similar tone, volume, depth, sound. And block right, exhale left. Inhale, open left. Block left, exhale, open right. Relax the hand, restore the breath. Remember the yogi who has faith does not despair. All right. Second cycle, last round. After the exhale, raise your hand, block left, inhale, open right. Block right, exhale, left. Inhale, open left. Block left, exhale, open right. Relax the hand, restore the breathing. So the first step in pranayama when we take up our breathing is learning to pay exclusive attention to your breath. The object of attention is awareness of your breath. You focus your attention on the sensations in your torso, in your lungs, but you do it naturally without interruption as you fill and empty yourself in that rhythmic alteration. All right, exhale, last one. Block left, open right, inhale. Block right, exhale, open left. Okay. 
Inhale, open, lift. Lock left, exhale, open right. Finish with an inhale through the right nostril. Relax and exhale, restorative breathing. Keeping the eyes closed, slowly raise your head and gently open your eyes. So between 10 and 15 minutes, it's a really short practice form, but it gets you centered. And it reminds you that we're also slowing down to watch for when we're in our daily life and moving faster, hasty decisions, hasty choices. Yoga helps you create a certain reflective atmosphere, a suitable atmosphere that can contain the desire to act in a certain way or act out because it's helpful in all circumstances to have the opportunity to have second thoughts about what you're considering. Faulty choices end in ignorance and suffering. So to remember this is to Add the lesson from yesterday, Prati Praksha Bhavna. Go to the opposite. Go to the opposite. Like in St. Francis' prayer let, prayer, let me be an instrument of peace. So if there's discord, let me sow harmony and so forth. Find your way of contributing first by watching your own thoughts, going to the opposite if you find that you're being pulled towards aggression and ignorance. And watch how you react to other people and always see if you can find the positive intention behind what seems to be negative action or negative word on the part of another person to the extent that you can salute spirit in them and bless them have a great day